What's up, guys? This is Bobby with Spitting the Truth About Records. Roll my sleeves up. Let's get to work. So you guys want to listen to John Coltrane. The Train. Train is some serious music. Sure you're ready. All right. Start things off, guys, with the featured record of the day, as I always do. Tower of Powers. Ain't nobody stopping us now. Ain't nothing stopping us now. Tower of Power, for those who know, you probably know them from the single What Is Hip. But this album is equally dope. The track that I like off this one is Doing Alright. But this is a phenomenal band. If you guys, you know, miss that 70s sound with all those keyboards and the horns. Guys, where are the horns nowadays, man? Where are the horns? All the music used to have horns in it. Bring back the horns. Anyways, Tower of Power. Ain't nothing stopping us now. But for John Coltrane, if you want to get into John Coltrane, there's a few records you should start with, and there's a few, you know, you should, you know, stay, stay, uh, put aside for the, you know, later. Uh, you might not be ready for some of John's harder stuff. But these are some records that I listened to when I was 16 or 17, and that just got me hooked. Now this one is one of my favorites, all-time favorite Coltrane. This album blew my freaking mind. Giant Steps. Guys and girls, when I first heard this album, I played it everywhere. I mean, he, I, I could not believe that, you know, he got sounds out of a saxophone the way he did. I mean, when I was in college, my RA, you guys all know what a RA is? It stands for, I think, Resident Assistant. They make sure you don't play your music too loud. They make sure you don't, you know, you're not drunk or, you know, selling drugs or something on campus. My RA hated me because I used to blast this like all hours of the night, man. And he threatened to take away my Paradigm Monitor 3s so many times, man. But I never gave him up those speakers. But I still played the Coltrane. Giant Steps. It's a good place to start because the songs off this... Are amazing for some of you who don't really like the hard bop the first side is kind of hard bop the second side that track Naima that he wrote for his wife will bring you to tears it's beautiful one of the most beautiful jazz songs ever written start with this album you got side one that gives you the hard bop you might like it you might not but then you got Naima you listen to that everybody likes that song next up an album to get into Coltrane. It's John Coltrane's Ballads. Now, Ballads uh, was just recently reissued by the Acoustic Sounds series. Acoustic Sounds did a phenomenal job with this one. Phenomenal. They give you, you know, a little thing with all their series of polylined inner sleeve archival quality, quiet wax. But, anyways. Ballads is the type of album that you can put on and fall asleep to and just groove away into the night. I think I'm going to make a video about albums to put on to conk out to. But this album, I mean, it's smooth, it's sensual, seductive. Great record. John Coltrane's Ballads for those of you looking to get into Coltrane. Next up. Another one of Coltrane's favorites. Blue Train. Blue Train is a jazz standard everywhere. I mean, Locomotive, Lazy Bird, I'm Old Fashioned. This record has been played in movies. This record has been played all over the world. Blue Train is a mix of hard bop and lighter stuff. But this is what John Coltrane is all about. This record is all John Coltrane. But to be honest, if it was in my top five records, if you gave made me pick top five John Coltrane records, I don't know if it'd be in it. It might. It might. It might sneak in. But I like Giant Steps better than that. Next up. My favorite things. This album, amazing. Amazing. I mean, what else can be said about this album? I mean... 
unbelievable. My favorite things, for all of you don't know, I mean, most of you probably heard it in The Sound of Music, too. And, and in school concerts all throughout the U.S. and all the world, you'll hear people play my favorite things. You'll hear them sing it. You'll hear them play it in concerts and choir. But Coltrane's version of my favorite things, whew, unbelievable. Summertime's a great song, but not for me. Another jazz standard. But this great sounding record, great record to begin with. This is my 70s Atlantic label, I think. Or late 60s. I don't know. I have three three of these on the orange and green Atlantic. Great, great record. My favorite things. And uh, next up, for you lovers out there, John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. Another acoustic sound series. But this record, I mean, it's all about love. And John Coltrane's, you know, phenomenal saxophone playing is on this record. In view for you to see, for the whole world to see. But anyways, Acoustic Se Sounds did this series too with this record and this style. They did another phenomenal job. Johnny Hartman too is a great, great old school singer. And with him, together with John Coltrane, this, this record is unbelievable. Another one where you put on every song and it is awesome. This also would be on the list of albums to fall asleep to. John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. It's not too hard, not too, because I know first time jab, jazz listeners don't want that hard bop. This is nice and smooth. Everybody likes this album. And these are you when you're getting into Coltrane later. I love this album. This album blew my mind, but some of you guys may not be ready for it. John Coltrane's A Love Supreme. Acknowledgement. Whew. When I first heard that, man, the train was going at it on that song. Acknowledgement. Whew. Love Supreme. A record for you to check out who love Coltrane and want to get into him. I want to see what all the fuss is about. It's real. Coltrane Jazz. This is another mix of hard bop and smooth sounding saxophones. Great. This will display what Coltrane is all about, this album. Coltrane Jazz. This is actually the newest Rhino release, cut from tape pressed at a good pressing plant. Throwback Atlantic label. Clean wax. No clicks, no pops. Beautiful. Even the European pressing, I think, has uh, the cut from tape version, too. Shiny jacket. Non-gatefold. Wonderful sounding record to get into Coltrane. Another one. Standard Coltrane. Prestige label. This is a reissue, another cheap one. Probably cut from digital, but easy to pick up and easy for you to check out for Coltrane. The yellow and black prestige label. John Coltrane being a boss is on full display on this album. Coltrane can blow. And that's for sure. Spring is here, invitation. Don't take your love from me and I'll get by. Plus, great band on standard Coltrane, too. Coltrane tenor sax, Red Garland piano, Paul Chambers bass, and Jimmy Cobb on the sticks. Wilbur Hart and trumpet. Good album. And another acoustic sound series, Duke Ellington and John Coltrane. Now this is a great record. Not one of my favorite Coltranes, but you got the Duke... And you got the train. You just have to have it for purposes. Come on. You have John Coltrane and the Duke on one album. And while it's not my favorite Coltrane album, it's still nice. It's good. He does, you know, covers of In a Sentimental Mood. Uh, my Little Brown Book, Angelica, The Feeling of Jazz. And he has, you know, his own written, Take the Coltrane. Wonderful album. 
Duke Ellington and John Coltrane. And for those of you lazy mofos, lazy, 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 the best of John Coltrane. This can be found in record stores all over the place, in the crates. This was issued, I believe, in the 70s off the Atlantic label. Let's see. Yup. 70s Atlantic label. This one has my favorite things on it. Naima, the Ballad of Champions. And Giant Steps has Equinox, Cousin Mary, Central Park West. Great record. I think I bought this one for seven bucks in near mint condition. So guys, later on there are more records you can get into John Coltrane with that I have and I can show you. But this is my John Coltrane starter kit. What's your John Coltrane starter kit? Let me know in the comments section. And if you guys like my videos, please, please do your boy a favor. Hit the like and subscribe. I'm trying to make this YouTube thing going to work for me. I know my mic sucks. I know my camera could be better. I'm getting better at it, guys. I'm working harder. I'm working 50 hours a week trying to get some more money. I'll be at you. Hope to make a video soon, guys. Deuces.